All right, so hopefully this works this time. This is the last time my audio got all screwed up again. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and do an image trace. Um, I'm gonna show you how we got the image back here in the first place. Um, go ahead and just go ahead and file new, discard. Sorry, we already had this done, but for some reason my microphone got shut off, so let's try this again. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload the image that I had. Took the, pic the picture from the Facebook page there, just uploaded it. So basically what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to go real quick and trace this guy out. Our, let me go check our background. Spacing is set to a quarter inch, something easy to use. Gives us a little bit more uh, ability to snap the grid with a little bit more precision than say one inch. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in close. You can always come in here and edit it later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here just a little bit and I'm gonna drop it down here, drop it in there. Sorry, I'm zooming in and out. So we're just getting close enough. It's not going to be perfect this first run out. So we're just going to go ahead and come in here close. So as you can see, I went too far over here. It's not really a big deal. Like I said, we're just getting close enough. And we're going to go ahead and try to mirror what we did on the other side. Keep everything the same so it's easier when you're editing it. Come back up here. That looks about where we're at on the other side. Come back up. And there we go. So now that we have the vector all all traced out, what we can do is if we want to come in here and make it more exact, we can go ahead and um, with the vector highlighted, say if you unselected it, you want to reselect it. Come in here to edit mode, node edit. And just going to go ahead and drag down so it overlaps. And drag this out to where it looks good. Come down here, same thing with this vector, we can go ahead and clean that up, just, you have to zoom in pretty good, so it doesn't, so it quits snapping, but that looks, honestly it looks good the way it was already at, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it, so this one, we could go ahead and move this one in, about like right there, that one looks good, Go ahead and move it up some, about right there. Go ahead and move this guy up. Now when we get everything all laid out, see this one that we went too far, we can just go ahead and snap this back over. Come in, drag it out to where it's looking good for us. Come back in here, we're going to drag this guy all back up. Again, we just want to make sure everything just matches and mimics each other. So if we covered, went straight up to the white, we skipped the gray on that side. So we're going to go ahead and do the same on this side. Come back up here. And we're going to go ahead and... See, that looks a little funny. So we're going to go ahead and drag that down off this, like, snap to grid. If you're having pr problems with the um, the nodes just snapping back to grid, go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. It'll give you a little bit more control. Or you can go ahead and make your grid spacing a little bit uh, tighter. This top part right here, I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Because it's, it's kind of, uh, that vector's not straight to begin with. Um, so this is basically what we come up with. Um, now we can go ahead and come over here to the sizing. This is your sizing tool right here. We can come over to the sizing tool and resize it. Say you wanted it 12 inches tall, 12 inches tall, and you just print your stencil to match. So whatever size you're going to go ahead and make, just go ahead and, and program it, and then there you go. Hopefully this helps you get what you need. If you ever need any help, just go ahead and let me know. Thank you.